what's going on guys welcome back to another collector's edition unboxing video today is fire emblem echoes uh we have actually a few other amiibos here that i have not opened yet that are part of fire emblem i did open up robin previously but i do have marth ike uh roy and uh lucina and then we also have the brand new Elm and Cecilia, C C Celica? Celica. and of course I actually was able to get my hands on a limited edition Fire Emblem Echoes Shadow of Valencia copy of the game. Uh, if you guys watched my rant, um, I honestly didn't think I would be getting this one, but actually found one at the store so that is awesome and enables me to create this video for you guys so let's start first of all with the amiibos from the old one and then we'll get on to the uh, newer ones and obviously the game so there's Roy let's open up Ike. And on this side, open up Marth. With his uh, sort of bent sword there. Oh well. Not worrying too much about that. And Lucina. So, obviously you guys have seen them before. Not too much different with these ones, but I figured, you know what? Might as well do a Fire Emblem opening completely. So now, let's open up these uh, ones two first. Let's see what they're for use with Fire Emblem Echo, Shadows of Valentia, store character progress. Summon as reinforcements, access special dungeons. So they do help out uh, with a few things. Uh, the special dungeons I like. Uh, summon as reinforcements is kind of cool. The store character progress I guess would be good. Um, not sure what it's exactly used for in the game, but uh, maybe on a separate, if you have a friend or something, you can do that. So let's open up these two here. Get rid of that packing. Try to do without breaking <clears throat> any. Oh, oh, there we go. So you notice on these ones they actually have stone uh, bottoms, obviously instead of the other ones. Which I mean, these ones are the smash ones, so they have the smash symbol on the bottoms. But these have the stones, which is pretty cool. They're kind of kind of like little toys the way they they look and they feel bit more so than the other amiibos maybe it's just me okay <laughs> anyway there we have the uh two new one elm and cecile i'm never gonna get her name right anyway we'll move on um there is also a special um poster that was available with my game i don't know how exactly to remove the film thing is so what i'll do is show you guys how it looks on the front there but it's a double-sided poster and it's metallic on the back which looks awesome it's essentially the same thing just reversed um and then the metal well basically it's like it went right through so i don't know exactly how this is removing the film or anything i don't want to ruin it so i don't know if that sticker is going to stay there it might because i don't like messing it up and <laughs> i can't get another one so <sighs> on to the main event anyway the fire emblem echoes shadow of valentia 
limited edition. This was very hard to uh, to get. Uh, sold out pretty much instantly. And I am happy I was able to get one so I can add it to my collection and unbox it for you guys. So I will open this up now. Oh. Don't, worry about, don't worry about that because that's going to... I know I'm going to rip the... Okay. So take everything out there. There you go. Keep that box there. <clears throat> oh, ah, it's upside down. There we go. Ah, little pins. No, oh, just little box there. Eh. No cover. That's all. That's a. Kind of cool. You got little designs on the uh, plus uh, the box sword there. Designs underneath the uh, pins. Let's take off the pins and see. No pixelated pins. Yeah, underneath them you got the uh, shield and two swords. I think they're both there. All three of them should be. Ah, no Pokemon sword. Yeah, all three of them are the. Uh, Shield and Swords, which is pretty cool that it's engraved into the uh, into the box. There's the three pins. I assume that one looks like uh, it'd be Martha Lucina. Does it say who they are? Let's see. Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia pin set. But it does not specify who they are unfortunately guess I'll see uh, in the game one of them I think are the two main characters I don't know the third one though unfortunately oh well so let's move on to the soundtrack we'll open that up here yeah. so Fire Emblem Shadows of Valentia Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valencia, sound selection. Open it up, you have 30 songs on the CD. Let's see if I can... Underneath you have uh, artwork, which looks pretty good. Kind of a anime style artwork there. Then you got the uh, cover art on the disc itself. And then again, Nothing on the back though, just Nintendo. Just put that to the side there. This one we have the game. Let's open up the game without ruining it. There we go. Get all that plastic away. Hey, look at that. So, <clears throat> does have uh, that anime artwork again, double sided Japanese one. I guess that would be the Japanese. Um, one maybe uh, inside nothing special obviously the game and that is it the game has a little pixelated artwork on it obviously uh, from the game so that's kind of cool too let's put this uh, with the alternate cover There you go, there you go. So that looks pretty cool there. So you got the CD, the game, the box. That everything was ah held in. No, that is not gonna work. I'll put that there. And then the Valencia art book. Don't know how big this art book is, and it doesn't specify. So let's open it up. I will show the entire art book at the end as usual, but I will show you guys a few pages at the front there. So the front, the back is not really any special, just a continuation of the artwork. Front page is white and you got the art from the game, I believe, no, not that one, from the, um, the front of this one, the, the game, the regular game itself, and obviously a lot of 
storyboard uh, some of the games, the uh, scenery, uh, scenery there. And let's see if it shows how many pages it is. It does not, of course. So you got the enemies and all that, the alternate artwork and signatures on the back there. And then I'll see drawings of all the uh, areas in the game. So that is actually pretty okay uh, collection, I guess. I mean, for the price, it's a good, it's a good collector's edition. Uh, the Amiibos are, are really good. The soundtrack, I mean, 30 sound uh, tracks on that is great. Uh, the alternate artwork on the game is awesome. The engravings on the box, really nice touch. The pixelated pins are actually really nice. Probably uh, put them on something and hang them up somewhere though. I'm not gonna put them on anything because I don't wanna lose them or damage them. And then obviously the art book, a very nice touch at the end. So not a big difference from like, I mean, has what, three? extra things from the game the art book the soundtrack and the pens but definitely worth getting it in my opinion if you can get one get one but yeah it's 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 a very nice set very nice set happy with it nintendo collector's editions are usually pretty good i love the fire emblem uh, fates one which included the uh i think it included a soundtrack and a um pouch which was a really nice pouch for it but I will be looking forward to seeing what the Amiibos do. Um, the fire, other firearms, I believe they all work with it. Use compatible Amiibo figures, some allies from throughout Fire Emblem's history. So there you go. I guess that's it for uh, this unboxing. Um, there's not much else here. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified when that is available. And I will uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.